Hey everybody, this is Kyla Monarch. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And thanks for watching. If you are coming back with me for a nice, to the point review, welcome back fam. Where you been? I miss y'all. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Um, today, I'm doing a review and I'm going to try to keep it quick, okay? You know, I always say that. But I'm doing a review today on the Alien Gear, okay? The Alien Gear holster. I should have done this review a time or two, but you know how life goes sometimes. You know, you just get all caught up or whatever, but today I'm doing this review, okay? And I'm doing it with a very, very special person today. So come on back. I got something to show you about this holster. Let's get into it. So you know this is an Alien Gear holster. I'm going to tell you the specific name in a second, but I just want you to see the packaging and how it came in. Um, you know, they have their, their logo here, and then they have here May Proudly with the US of A flag, and then they have over here like a QR, you know, QR code if you want to like activate your warranty because you can do that on your holster. Um, it has the website here and warranty if you don't want to do the QR code, you know, you can put it up online and then it gives all the warnings. You know, we talk about P65 and previous, um, you know, reviews that I've done. So they also have that warning here on the front of their bag. They have all this social media info here and just a few warnings which are probably like liability warnings saying that if anything happens to you or whatever, they're not liable. So it's just pretty much that. And that's it. Okay, this is how it comes. Now, you're going to um, open the bag. And the holster is inside this bag. Now, before I go any further, I want to show you or I want to introduce you to the person that I told you about in the um, intro. The person that I was telling you about is my new baby. Okay, I got a new baby. I don't know if you guys remember that short I had. Remember I had that eight, that uh, AR-15 at the range and it just went jiving with me and went feeling good. You know, 16-inch barrel, that thing was just... Too big, too, you know, too humongous. So, you know, I said I had to take that back and get something else. So one of the things that I got, you know, in place of that AR-15, that 16-inch, was this cannon. Yes, indeed. This is my new baby. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I don't know what it's going to be as of right now, but it's the, it's the TP9 SF Elite. So... This is my new baby. She is not my EDC. Of course, my EDC is always my Sid Sour P365. But this is my other baby. This is my new baby right here. Okay. This baby is going to probably, she'll probably tag along from time to time. But mostly, it'll be like self-defense, home defense, and whatever other defense that's out there that I may have to use her for. See, I'm already calling her a she. <laughs> Well, whatever else I may need this one for, this one is going to, you know, come into play a lot. But I just wanted to show you guys this. So, from time to time, you may see this one in some of my videos, okay? So, and the reason why I'm introducing this one to you guys is because I needed to find a holster for him. <laughs> I needed to find a holster for him, okay? Okay. So, that's why I ended up ordering the Alien Gear, okay? Because the Alien Gear have holsters for the Caddy TP9SF Elite, okay? Now, from my understanding, um, if you bought a holster that fits the TP9SF, it will fit the TP9SF Elite firearm, 
Okay, so just remember that and keep that in mind, okay? But again, this is the Alien Gear holster specifically for my new baby, my Canic, okay? TP9SF Elite. That is a good gun. I, I can't say that much. That is a good gun. Um, when I first shot it, I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed it to the point where I had to buy my own. <laughs> so, uh, but this is in the bag. And there is a bag in here. Okay, so this is the Cloak Tuck 3.5 inside the waistband holster. Okay, from Alien Gear. And as you look in look at this bag it has extra spacers it has extra screws it has an alien um not alien but it has an allen uh, wrench in here just in case you have to adjust the retention on this thing adjust the cat on this thing um or adjust the um the height on it okay because you know when it comes to these firearms it's not a one size fit all, especially with it going on your body. It's not a one size fit all. So if you have to go in here and take off, you know, take um, exchange out or change out the um, the spaces or change out the screws, you have all of these to do that with. Okay. When I first bought this holster, it did not fit right. Okay, it didn't fit right whatsoever. So I had to make a lot of adjustments to this holster for it to be able to fit not only on my body, but for it to fit my firearm as well. Okay, so I want you guys to to understand that. There's nothing else in the bag, so we're gonna sit this over here. So they also have a brochure in here. And inside the brochure, you know, it tells you what it's made out of, which is pretty cool. And I kind of figured that it was going to have that neoprene, you know, um, material with it. Because you guys know how I do. I swear I need something that's cool, uh, you know, against my body. So, this is the neoprene material. You see this? This is on the back of the actual holster. But this is the part that actually... Um, go against your body okay so if you are sweaty it's going to help to keep you cool and I think it has some type of cooling solvent or something inside the material which makes it um, which which tries to keep that area dry okay so that's that's one thing to point out about this holster which is pretty good so you have this material on the back you turn it to the front if the leather feels and I don't even know if it's leather. It's some sort of material. It just doesn't feel like leather it's to me. But it could very well be. But we're going to continue on with this brochure. Alright. So also it has. It's enhanced retention. You know and we talked about that. This little sticker trying to slide up. Slide down from the um, from the brochure. But also it says. Customize your carry. That's why they give you all those screws. And all of those spacers. So that you can adjust it to however way you need it, okay? And I want to show you guys something on that too in just a second. So and when you open up the brochure, it tells you like ways to wear your holster. It gives you the steps. It tells you over here what you can do so far as making the holster uh, spe uh, specifically for your body and for your handgun. So it's important that you um, look at this and read it. It has a lot of vital information in here, okay? <laughs> Excuse me. Talks about the cant, the ride height, the retention, all of that in this brochure, okay? You turn it to the back. You know, of course, it's going to tell you about the uh, foregun safety rules, which is a biggie. Um, practice, practice, practice. <laughs> That sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm saying that a gazillion of times. Um, achieve that perfect draw. That's good stuff. And then wear the proper gear. Wear the proper gear. They want you to wear a belt. Okay, so you know with this one, I'm wearing a belt all day long. But again, this is the Alien Gear Cloak Tuck 3.5. 
inside the waistband holster. So let's get let's get down into the meat of the matter. Oh, before I forget, um, they also give you a satisfaction card. Your satisfaction is it means the world to us, you know. If you have any issues, contact them. They give you a sticker. You know, these stickers are hot, you know, hot stuff now, you know. Uh, they give you a 30-day test drive, pretty much. You have a forever warranty. If anything happens to the holster, just contact them. And um, they will try to help you with, uh, with your holster if anything happens. What is this? Warranty, ironclad guarantee. Yeah. Okay. And then, again, again, the disclaimer of liability is also in, in this um, in this brochure. Okay? So, keep those items in mind. Govern yourselves accordingly. Okay? Alright. Now, this holster. Okay. Alright, so here we are. This front part here. You see, this is the cadence part. This is the cadence area of this holster. You see, there is an area here to protect the trigger guard. There is another area in there that's going to protect that trigger, which means that if something come up against this holster, it is not going to get to that trigger because this is protecting it. Anything, this is stopping anything from getting toward that trigger. Okay, these are your clips. Holster clips, okay? This would deal with your ride height, okay? As this holster sits, you know, I, I am side carry, hip carry all day long. So, this will sit here on me, okay? But the ride height would deal with these clips here. These are the clips that will go over your belt. Inside waistband me, it will go inside of the pants, but these two clips will go on the outside of your belt to adjust them, okay? Which I think is, I'm going to show you something that's really cute. Really, really cute, okay? Here is that logo here, but if you look over here, you'll see that the opening for the clip levels are similar to the logo, okay? The shape of them I'm talking about, Okay? And to remove them and move them up or down, depending on you, just turn it to the side. You're going to feel it kind of give way and pull it out. And there you are. You're going to, if you want it to, if you want this clip to be higher, you're going to take this clip and you see how the little head sitting up there kind of looks just like this logo. <laughs> you're going to put that little piece of head. That didn't sound right. But you're going to put it at that top opening up there. Turn it. And it'll stay locked that way. That's how you will adjust these clips for your row height. Okay? All right. So, same thing. Bring it down. Flip it up. It's the same thing. Me, myself, I just, I just pretty much keep mine in the same hole. On both of them in the middle hole okay so let's go ahead and I'm going to put this one I'm going to go ahead and put this holster on the inside of my pants and I think I may have to move you guys back just a tad bit let's see yeah that's great okay now I'm gonna put this holster into the side on my pants, I am a side hip carry, three, three o'clock possibly is where I would, um, is where I would carry. What happened? Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm putting the clip over the belt. The front clip is over the belt. The back clip is over the belt. The holster is here. You see all this room here? Since I have those clips in this second hole, I have a lot more room now in the back. Okay? So, my stomach is not pushing 
the back part of this holster, the material, it's not pushing it over because it's so high. And this is pretty good. This is a pretty good, um, pretty good area for where those clips are. So now I'm going to get my firearm. Let me show you that it is clear. And I am working with a empty magazine today. I need to show you guys that. <laughs> I meant to show you guys that early on, <laughs> but I was thinking of other things, but she is, he is clear. He, she, it. I don't know who, what this one is going to be, but the mechanic is clear. Okay. So now I'm going to put that empty magazine into the mechanic. So we're going to close it, close the slide, and there we are. Okay, now we're going to take this, um, take the gun, take the handgun, and we're going to put it into the holster. <laughs> One thing I want to point out about um, this particular holster is if you are putting your gun into one of the holsters and the holster is too tight, the gun doesn't go in, you need to loosen it up. You need to loosen up that holster with those screws and possibly with going up to a higher spacer, okay? If it is too loose and your gun is just going in, will it, you know, going in loosely, willingly, you able to pull it out loosely and willingly or whatever, it's, it's too big, it's too much space. You, you, and if it's too much space, you need to reduce your spacer. Find a smaller spacer. These are your spacers here. Remember, they gave them to you in the bag. These are your spacers. Okay. See these? These are your spacers. Okay. So use whichever spacer you need. Okay. To either make that, um, make that retention tighter or looser for you, okay? Keep that in mind, okay? Um, also, oh, y'all did see the, the, the logo with that too. <laughs> I don't know if y'all, you see <laughs> they have the logo even with the, uh, with the additional attachments too, <laughs> the additional uh, spacers and screws and stuff, okay? They didn't forget a thing, did they? <laughs> okay, so, Again, if you want to make that um, make that retention tighter, go down a spacer, okay? If you want to make it looser, go up a spacer, okay? Or you can um, or you can unscrew, um, unloosen the screws a bit, and that may make it looser, or screw them down to make them tighter, okay? Once you figure out what um, what screw Lift you at and what space are you using and your gun is eat your gun is able to go in and you're able to pull your gun out okay like you're pulling hard you're able to pull out because you don't want to pull it and it's it's loose you don't want to pull it with it with this retention being loose you want that retention to give you some resistance okay and that's for your protection so if you have that gun inside, I'm looking y'all. Okay, so if you have that gun inside of the holster and it's too loose, tighten it up, okay? Once you get it to where you want it, then if you, if, you know, if you don't mind and you want to keep that, you want to keep that sizing for that particular firearm, get you some clear fingernail polish and put it on the screw. Okay, at the top. Now, I, I think uh, Alien Gear says get some blue Loctite. Something like that. But in a way, clear fingernail polish acts just like blue Loctite. It, it, it'll, it'll keep it. it it'll, it'll keep it at that position and that sizing. So the screw won't even come loose over time. It'll just stay there unless you just really want to change it out. Okay, so that's something to think about. Um, but again... You want to have some resistance as you pull, okay? If you are putting your gun or your handgun inside of the holster 
and the slide is moving. It's too tight. Loosen it up. Okay. You want this done to be able to easily go into this holster here. Okay. You want it to easily go into that holster. Like I said, still have some resistance. Now, if I'm doing this, it's not coming out. But if I'm in a situation I really need it, of course I'm going to have more power in pulling this gun out of my holster, okay? All right. And, of course, in a shirt like this, I'm going to have a little printing. But with my arm to my side, you can't really tell that I'm carrying. Okay? You know something is going on, but you don't know what it is for sure. You know? You just say, oh, okay. So I'm going on. I just don't know what it is. So, it's not too bad with the bigger gun, um, but at the same time, you know, it's not noticeable at all. But if I had on a bigger shirt, or if I had on a different type of shirt, um, you probably wouldn't even notice I was carrying at all. But because this is a much bigger gun, um, this is a full-size gun. So, because this is a full-size gun, it's going to... It's going to tell on itself a whole lot more than my EDC would, okay? So, I think it's okay. But I just wanted to show you guys that, um, that there are options out there for the Canon TP9 SL series. Um, and Alien Gear gives, one of, um, gives, gives a good holster for that. So, that's all that I have for today, guys. I really do appreciate you all for, um, for for coming back with me, for watching, for giving me your ideas. I mean, you guys are great. Continue to like, share, comment um, on my channel. Thank you so much. And guys, subscribe to my channel. Tell your family about my channel. And because um, I'm really trying to get to a thousand. <laughs> I'm really trying to get to a thousand. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the year is out because I have, I'm going to do a giveaway, okay? And it's all the holsters that pretty much I have done reviews on um, that I'm not using. They just sitting in the corner somewhere just collecting dust. But anyway, I'm going to get them to you. I'm going to get them to you guys. So once I get to a thousand, I'm just going to do a huge blowout a huge giveaway or whatever, and we'll figure out how we're going to do it or whatever. But, yeah, I'm just thankful for you guys for the number that I do have, you know, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna give you guys something. You guys always give me something and give me your input and, and give me, um, you know, a few moments of your day. So, I'm going to give back. I'm going to give back to you guys. So, um. Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so every time I drop a short or a video, you guys are annoyed and you come on back. You guys are so wonderful. Thank you so much. And until my next video, stay woke, stay vigilant, stay safe, stay alert. Know your surroundings. Don't play with it. Know your surroundings. Use those peripherals, okay? All right, and I will see you guys then. You guys take care. See you then.